Hi, my name is Wade Aikoff. I'm gonna create a double exposure image. We're gonna make a mask out of our selection. Now we have to get a little bit of the ocean into this. Pull this down. I'm gonna rename this ocean. I want to position this Control T or Command T, bring up the transform. We're still non-destructive because we're it's still a smart object. You can see the little cloud logo in the bottom. We still have a smart object from our library. I want to decrease the opacity a little bit just so I can see the image behind it and make an adjustment. I want it a little bit bigger. Enter. I'm gonna borrow our mask from below and just select that. You'll kind of see where this is going. Going. And you know what? I could just stamp this. I want to show you how to apply mask. I'm going to make a copy of this and I want to bring our face on top, rasterize it like we did before. I can come over here to layer, layer mask, apply. We can apply it there, but I prefer to double click on the mask, bring it up in the properties. And down here, you can see that it says apply mask. Add a mask to this, change our blend mode to overlay. I'm going to mask out. I'm gonna use our mask and paint either white or black. And in this case, black conceals and white reveals. Start removing parts of this. This will make more sense in a minute. I'm using a soft brush here just to make sure that we're not having hard edges on what we're painting. But I do want to edit this mask on our ocean layer because I like the sky and I like this entire little ripple. I'm gonna bring all of this back. Let it dip down a little bit. You can see why I wanted that to work because that was going to be an issue. I want to add some sea life. I'm going to bring in a new friend for us. Again, this is a smart object. Change the direction of this by going to transform, flip horizontal, a little buddy for us to hang out with. And here, if I apply this layer, I'm going to bar this mask again. We don't need that to be visible. You can see where we're going with this. You kind of get the idea. This is sort of where we're headed. I want to place this under this so we get a little bit more. Maybe we want to take the turtle and have it be separate from the layer. I'm going to remove this mask for now. As of note, if you wanted to adjust this layer inside, you have to unlink your mask. You can move it around within the mask if you'd like. That's one way to manipulate that. Make a copy of this. Come over to our object selection. First, I want to keep this a smart object. So I'm just gonna make a mask out of this. But then we have two versions of our turtle and I wanna be able to move this around and not have the turtle behind it. So I'm gonna hide this one. We have to rest this to make sure that we can use content aware fill control or command on the Mac and press that it will select this turtle for us we could just use the object selection again if we wanted to I'm gonna use content aware fill and let's see if it's gonna work on the right layer hey look at that but uh oh we have a bit of an outline I don't want that so I'm gonna cancel to get rid of that I'm going to go to select modify expand Expand it by about five pixels. You can play with that to figure out what works best for you. Go back to edit content aware fill. And we've gotten rid of our outline. I'm gonna click apply, okay, deselect. And we don't have our turtle in there and we can move this one around and we have a bit of a background. Go back and reapply our mask. But I do want to, I liked the top of the hat being gone and then seeing this ocean ripple. So I want to come back into that layer with the black to conceal and repaint this. And now we can move our turtle to the top layer and it's no longer affected by the blend mode of the previous layer and we can adjust it for composition wherever we want to put it. And now we're going to make a few little tweaks. Go into our layer and just grab a dark color and I'm going to paint a little bit of this, what I was hoping to have be our deep ocean. I'm just painting for the composition. I do want to adjust this slightly. I'm gonna grab these two layers, just selecting the two layers, drag this over, come back in here on this mask, bring this back in. We'll see you guys soon. Have a good one and bye.